Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my office. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tony. I'm a full-time gig worker and a mom. And I just take you guys along with me as I work through this gig economy, show you guys the ins, the outs, the good, the bad, and everything in between. We stay positive, we set goals, we help one another to make that money, honey. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, definitely like this video and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. All right, so it is like 5.20 in the evening and I know that some of you have heard me say before that I was active on GoPuff and I never actually worked it. Um, every time I tried to get a shift, I couldn't get a shift and you know, I just didn't like anything I heard about it. And I had some issues with one of the managers there just promising me things that weren't true. Well, I found out like a month ago that it changed. Um, so they now have their own app, which is the Go Drive app. Before, it used to be um, a When I Work app and another app. And there was like three different apps just to work on this platform. And so anyways... It still is hard to get shifts, but I do have a couple of shifts coming up, but a shift just dropped for right now and I'm afraid to take it. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid to take it. My anxiety is through the roof. So <laughs> let me show you. I'm here at the warehouse. Let me show you. You can see the whole entire thing down there. That gray car right there in front of that blue door. That blue door is the entrance. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see that right there. The blue door, see it? Anyways. <laughs> they pay you an hourly rate, even if it's not busy. I don't think it's much. I, I think it's $14 an hour. I don't know. I heard some people say 17 It depends on your area. And then I guess you get commit the orders as commission. I'm not sure because I've never done it. Um, so I'm wondering if you get the base pay plus the commission. I don't know. Now, apparently you don't have to be on a shift to work. They have on demand too, which is what interested me. Kind of like with Grubhub, how you can schedule a block or you can have like um, off block and you can work. But the difference is you only get paid commission when you're off block. So apparently people say it's not worth it. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm, I'm spying <laughs> on the warehouse to see how it works. And you know, once I get inside, I'm not gonna know what to do. My anxiety is through the, who was this? Someone came out. <gasps> oh. Oh, they do bring it out to you. Yeah! All right, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Let's see if it's still there. Watch it not be there. All right. Da, 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 da. All right, I'm gonna open the app because Spark's not sending me anything. All right, go to schedule, watch it be gone. Available, okay, it's there. So I'm gonna take it, add hours. Ooh, okay, now I'm here. So now I got to, now what? Start work day, I'm here, start work day. Oh, ho, ho. Delivery partner agreement updates. What's this? Okay, I'm ready to drive. Alcohol and tobacco for scan identification. I'm gonna screenshot this. Uh, collect signature, verify customer. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just sitting here. I probably should get over there. All right, I will let you guys know what happens if anything okay i'm not gonna like this guy just came over to me and told me i had to park at the door he's like you can't park at the door and i'm about to give you an order so i don't know how it works but he was kind of an asshole so i'm not happy with that anyway dude he was a jerk i don't like people talking to me like that he said he's gonna give me an order i don't see anything here you're gonna just you're gonna sign two bins c trip uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm here to eat you. <laughs> so we just park here and the orders come yep. and then you bring them out and we pick up and then go and then come yep. back and that's it? Yep. Okay, thank you. Usually when you first get here, you're supposed to get your, your temperature taken and make sure you know, you're know you not running a fever or whatever. So when you first get here, you're supposed to like knock on the door? Yeah, or? just ring the doorbell and then we'll take your temperature and then, then you're good to go. But we, okay. 
Yeah, I don't want to sit here, so you can just okay, cool. do it when you get back. Thank you. All right, I got an order. I don't know. So start delivery, non-contact, and I'm going to go. All right, let's do it. Let's go 11 minutes away. Customer instructions, Eli. Non-contact order, call customer for approval to leave bag. Park on street is by the hallway. <laughs> Whatever all that means. All right, let me go deliver this and see what happens. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, that was a disaster, okay? First of all, this place has two buildings. I don't know if you can see right behind me. They're parallel like dominoes, right? Just as I'm about to go up the stairs, he's like, go puff. <laughs> and I was like, yes. And he's like, for Eli, I'm like, yes, thank you. Only problem is it's supposed to be a contact free delivery, okay? So they wanted me to take a picture of the bag at the door and like call him, but he opened the door, came out and I made contact. So I'm hoping I don't get like in trouble for that. So I know that was a $5 tip, okay? That's all I know. Uh, I didn't show me anything else. So I don't know if I just make tip. I'm not on demand, so I don't understand how the pay structure works at all. I'm headed back to the warehouse now. So what I see, completed one out of one, and then I can look at today's order history, and it shows this delivered at 545. I wonder what happens if I go into earnings. Ah, $8.75 I made for that order. That's not bad. It was th three miles away. That's not bad. So I got three seventy-five dollars for the delivery and $5 tip. And there's a weekly reward. Weekly comp completed deliveries. Ooh, if I do 10 deliveries, I get $15. 15, I get 20. All right, like I said, I'm headed back to the warehouse because that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know if they track you to the point where like you can't um, stop anywhere. I honestly don't know which screen I'm supposed to stay on, if I'm supposed to stay on the home screen. I honestly don't know. So I guess we'll figure it all out by the end of today. <laughs> One thing I do know is you can't multi-app with this um, because once you have a schedule, you are bound by them and you can't turn anything down, imagine? So what they send you, you have to do. That kind of stinks. I'm wondering if there's gonna be a way around it. Now, I know the schedule drops every week at noon and it is so hard to get a schedule. And then the process for picking the schedule makes it so that you miss the opportunity to get more days. So last thursday every week i've been trying and i haven't gotten anything last thursday i set an alarm <laughs> i got two shifts i believe i would like to do the um like a 10 to 1 30 i think it is every day that would be nice 10 to 1 30 every day would be nice but wouldn't we all want something like that right when i pulled in he had orders for me which is cool but I got two, and I don't know which one's which, and I don't know <laughs> which I'm supposed to go to first. Do I get to choose? I'm just gonna start this one first, because it looks like, I don't know. All right, six minutes away. They're busy, not bad. I like this, Woohoo! <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go do this. gave me a seven dollar tip and the other customer gave me a four dollar tip so I haven't shown you much in the app because it shows the customer's address all over the place and I don't want to you know disclose any information that I shouldn't okay so basically what I've learned so far is you need to head to the warehouse before your shift starts okay now once you get to the warehouse, as long as it's the time for your shift to start, you slide, begin workday, okay? It's like punching in. 
but from what the gentleman told me is I need to knock on the door, get my temperature taken, and then I'm good to go, which I haven't done yet. <laughs> um, and then they send you orders to your phone. Like I stay on the trip down the very bottom. Let me show you guys real quick. Down the very bottom, there's like, you got home, earnings, trip, schedule, and account. I stay on the trip, so it shows me this. Um, home, just is where you can see the schedule. This is what I'm working. Um, and that's, home is where you start and end your work day. Earnings, obviously. These are my earnings so far. Trip is what I was showing you. And it will show all your trips. Um, and then at the bottom is a trip history. And it shows all three orders. Let me go back. Then you've got the schedule. This is how you're gonna pick up hours. So this is what I'm working or this is available. And if there's anything available, it'll be listed right here as a plus sign, which there is nothing. And then account obviously is all my account information. And that's how you get support and all kinds of stuff. So whatever. When I get an order, it comes right up on my screen as something about bin something you've got one bin drop or something like that and then you start the pickup is what it is or something they bring it out and put it right there in your front seat um and then you you say start delivery and then you like right in the same spot where this has an arrow that the customer's address will be right beside it and you can press the arrow to go to the customer's address when you arrive at the customer, all the instructions will be on that screen. When you arrive at the customer's house, you have to slide to start delivery. That will prompt you to take a photo. You can text the customer, call the customer, whatever you need to do. So you take your photo and then you can add notes if you need to. Like I should have added hand delivered to the customer, but I didn't. Uh, and then you slide to complete. And that's it. Now. Eventually, I'm gonna know my way back to the warehouse like this. I already know my way back to the warehouse, but sometimes when you're lost in neighborhoods, you need to find your way out. If you go to account, the warehouse that you work under will be at the very bottom and you can press it and it will automatically take the map to the warehouse, so. All right, I am going to hit you guys back up at the end of my shift and let you guys know how it goes. I might show you a few deliveries in the process, in the way, but uh, so far, so good. I only got like 45 minutes left, so, all right. We parked for five minutes and they sent me two more orders, one of which is an alcohol order. So I get to show you guys all the tricks today. <laughs> this is awesome. I'll probably end my shift because like I said, there's two of them and um, they'll probably end my shift. Super simple. <laughs> she had a passport. I've never had a passport before. Super simple, my God. I am loving this. Like, I really can't wait to see what I end up with earnings because I'm having fun. Like, I haven't had this much fun delivering in a while because I'm busy. And like, that's what we all want is to be busy. Like, I am loving this. <laughs> Maybe I won't be saying that when I see my earnings or whatever, but I got a $5 tip from that one. I am absolutely having fun and making money. That is like my ideal dream. <laughs> right, it is 7.06 and I'm home now. And I did try to pick up another shift, but there wasn't any available. But let me tell you guys. All right. <laughs> so I had somebody add a tip afterward 
uh, post delivery, they added an extra three dollars, so she, I got an eight ninety nine tip instead of a five ninety nine tip. So for my earnings, I did five trips at three dollars and seventy five cents each for commission. So that's eighteen seventy five, and then I got twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents in tips for a total of forty eight dollars. Let me see if that'll focus. $48.74 for an hour and a half's worth of work, guys. <laughs> so you want to know what my hourly rate was? Okay. What did I say it was? $48.74. I'm telling you, there's still money owed to me. Divided by 1.5. I made $32.50 an hour. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was like the best hour and a half I've ever had. And I drove, da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> but you know, it's not gonna be like that every day. You know it's not like, when I went back there, there was like three or four different cars just sitting there chilling, waiting for orders. So you know it's not always gonna be that way, but wow, for my first, wow. <laughs> I drove 19.9 miles. That's pretty good. I, I, I'm happy with that. I don't. I can't believe it. Like I'm curious to see what happens on a on a slow day and how much I'd make just doing um just sitting there doing nothing. But wow, wow. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, if I know them, I will answer them down below. And if I don't know them, I will try to help you find the answer. Uh, I hope you like this video. Um, very informative, I hope. And I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, go out there and make that money, honey. I just did. Peace out.